In this video, we will present uh, a detailed and comprehensive evaluation of the respiratory system of a patient with ARDS on the ventilator who has been ventilated with Hamilton C6 ventilator. So our patient has moderate uh, ARDS and uh, we're going to assess uh, his respiratory status uh, based on this ventilator screen. And as you know, there are three components in the assessment of uh, respiratory status. The first one is oxygenation. And second one is ventilation. Then we have respiratory dynamics. So we're going to start assessing his oxygenation status. And the main determinants of oxygenation are the mean airway pressure and the FiO2 level that the patient is on. As you know that uh, the PEEP is a major component of uh, the mean airway pressure. This patient is on 60% FiO2 with a PEEP level of 14 centimeter of water and mean airway pressure of 19 centimeter of water. With this oxygenation settings, the patient has SpO2 of 93%. The second component that we're going to assess is ventilation. And this patient is on a mode of ventilation called APV-CMV on Hamilton. This stands for Adaptive Pressure Ventilation CMV which is equivalent to pressure regulated volume control mode of ventilation on other ventilators. In this mode, we set the tidal volume that is set at 320 ml and that is giving the patient 5 ml per kg based on his ideal body weight. This tidal volume is a targeted tidal volume and in this mode, the pressure will be regulated up and down to achieve that tidal volume and you can see that this tidal volume is achieved on this patient at expiratory tidal volume of 320 ml. The set rate is 24 press per minute and this patient is not breathing over the set rate. As you see the settings on the right side and what's happening with the patient is on the left side. Therefore, the patient's expiratory minute ventilation is 7.7 .7 .7 liters, which is coming from the expiratory tidal volume multiplied by the respiratory rate. With this minute ventilation, entitled CO2 is at 31 millimeter mercury, which is adequate for the patient's condition. And now we assess the respiratory dynamics and start by looking at the airway resistance that you see here is at 11, which is slightly elevated. Normal is up to 6. And his uh, lung and chest wall static compliance, which is at 26.6. Lower than normal. Normal is between 50 and 100. And this is because of his ARDS status. So the peak pressure is at 27. And this is the pressure that is required to overcome both airway resistance and lung and chest wall elastance. The difference between the plateau pressure and the PEEP will give us the delta pressure or the driving pressure. And in this case, 26 minus uh, 14 is 12 centimeter of water of driving pressure for this patient. On the left side, we see here the uh, time constant, uh, which is uh, calculated based on the formula of uh, uh, resistance uh, multiplied by the compliance. And this is in expiration. The value is uh, 0.29, which means that uh, the patient will need 0.29 seconds to be able to exhale two thirds of the inspired air. And this time constant is decreased in ARDS patients and is increased in uh, severe airflow obstruction or asthmatic patients. As you see here that the inspiratory flow shape is decelerating wave 
and the expiratory flow goes all the way back to zero before the next breath meaning that there is no dynamic uh, hyperinflation occurred with this uh, ventilation and you also can determine that you may increase the rate a little bit without major influence on the uh, expiratory flow and let's complete this by looking at the volume over time curve where you can see in inspiration the volume goes up to the tidal volume at 320 which is the targeted tidal volume and in expiration the volume goes all the way back to zero there is no air leak as you don't see any web and the lung is completely emptied this way we depicted on this screen oxygenation in red ventilation in blue and respiratory dynamics in yellow you can see that the parameters that we are uh, setting for this patient uh, is within protective lung strategy where he has adequate PEEP for the level of FiO2 his tidal volume is within 4 to 6 ml per kg of ideal body weight his plateau pressure is well below 30 cm of water and his driving pressure is well below 15 cm of water his minute ventilation is appropriate for his metabolic rate evidenced by a normal uh, entitled CO2 on this ventilator you can also look at uh, the vent status where it gives you the oxygenation uh, status uh, depicted in this uh, panel oxygenation 60% and PEEP of uh, 14 the ventilation is in the middle uh, panel uh, where the patient is on 7.7 .7, uh, liters per minute of minute ventilation and this is the pressure that is used to deliver that targeted tidal volume and the right panel shows the patient's spontaneous activities at this point the patient is uh, sedated probably paralyzed and he's showing no spontaneous activities this way our evaluation is complete where we uh, uh, evaluated the oxygenation status for the patient the ventilation status and the respiratory dynamics this concludes our session please add any question to the comment section if you're not a member yet please subscribe to this channel and share with your colleagues thank you